Hello guys, welcome to this new video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to reduce data usage on your iPhone. Let's get to it. Before we get into the video, if you are watching my video for the first time or you have been watching my videos before now and you are not yet subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button. It helps me a lot and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Now the general understanding is that Wi-Fi is unlimited. However, in this part of the world, a lot of us use limited Wi-Fi connections. Even myself, I have like a 45 gig plan and if I'm not careful, I can easily exhaust that in the month. Which means that even if you are on a Wi-Fi connection in this part of the world, you are still at risk of exhausting your data. This can also be helpful if you are on the move, maybe you are traveling and you know you need to conserve data. Keep watching. Straight away we are going to launch settings as that's where most of the things we are going to be doing today is. And we are going to go into App Store here and what we want to do is turn off automatic downloads on mobile data and also go into video autoplay and turn it off. And what this means is that your phone is now going to stop automatically downloading like app updates from the app store you have to do it manually take note of that and also video autoplay when you are in the app store there are some videos that play there you don't want to watch those videos because you are saving data so definitely turn those off next up we are going into general and look for background app refresh most people will tell you to turn this off completely but if you do that you're going to greatly reduce the experience of your phone background app refresh what it means is that when you are in the background this is the background what apps do you want to keep getting data to keep refreshing in the background say for instance when you are here you still want to get messages from whatsapp because if you turn off background app refresh for whatsapp it means that you have to always open whatsapp before you can see your messages turn off all the apps you don't want to get notification from while you are in the background if you turn off whatsapp here it means that you will never get a whatsapp message or rather you will never see your whatsapp messages until you open whatsapp then it will refresh next up in settings we are going into mobile data in mobile data you can do two things number one is to check the apps that are using the most data so that you'll be aware of them apps like instagram will always use a lot of data except as someone like me who doesn't care about instagram also you want to go through this list and turn off apps that you don't want using your mobile data at all once you turn them off they will never use your mobile data unless you're on a wi-fi connection they will never get any mobile data so turn them off there are so many of them you'll find here i'm pretty sure you'll find a lot of them turn them off and you know that's going to save you some data and when you scroll to the end definitely turn off wi-fi assist what this means is that whenever your wi-fi connection is not so great wi-fi assist is going to attempt to switch to your mobile data and you don't want that you want to only use your mobile data when you want to use your mobile data so definitely turn off wi-fi assist the next one is probably the most important and one that a lot of people ignore when you are in settings click your apple id click icloud and in here you want to go into photos and turn everything here off a lot of people don't know that when you take a new photo or video they start to upload to your icloud and that uses a lot of data so you want to come in here and turn off icloud photos turn everything here off very important when you go back Turn off everything here you don't want uploading to your iCloud, especially turn off iCloud Drive and iCloud Backup. While iCloud Backup is a good thing, it can use a lot of data and it says here that it's only going to work when you're connected to your Wi-Fi connection and you're plugged in and all that. But say for instance, me, I have a limited Wi-Fi connection and I still don't want it using my Wi-Fi connection. So turn that off. And as I already said, on this list, turn off things you don't want backing up to your iCloud, which is a lot of them really, especially iMessage is going to keep backing up pictures you sent on iMessage and all that. That's just crazy. Next up in settings, we are going to scroll down to music, select music. And now in here, there are a couple of things you can do. When you go into mobile data, you want to turn off high quality streaming to start with. Very important. It's going to be downloading higher quality music for you but well using more data you can also turn off downloads on mobile data but i wouldn't really advise that because i rather say turn off streaming on mobile data and then always download your songs don't stream only download when you download the song it's not going to use data to play them anymore because they're already locally saved on your device so it's just going to you know play them right from your device storage now that i've shown you how to save data using apple music let me show you spotify so go into spotify hit settings data saver turn on data saver to save data i mean that's a no-brainer 
go back in here then music quality so look through here and definitely make sure you set your streaming quality to maybe normal or high anything but very high as i have here because i get coconut head and in here download maybe you want to choose normal that's what's recommended at least automatic here just uses your internet speed to decide whether it should stream higher quality or lower quality so your internet might be fast but it's still limited so you know you want to change that up and you know see what really works for you next up back in settings again I want to scroll down and go into messages which is iMessage and what you want to do is scroll to the end turn on low quality image mode and what this means is that it's no longer going to send very high quality images on iMessage which means it's going to send images faster but at a lower quality so if you get complaints that the image is not very clear you might have to turn this back off finally but as they say last but not the least we're going into whatsapp which i know almost everybody uses and in whatsapp you go into settings and then you hit data and storage usage and in here what you want to do is you want to go into each and every one of these like this i'm set to never and in this way you're going to control what downloads to your phone from whatsapp you don't want just any random photo or video sent to you on whatsapp to get downloaded so definitely do that to save your data and you know always manually download whatever you want and leave what you don't want i guess and also tick low data usage as this is going to save you data when you are making whatsapp calls using your mobile data anyways guys that's been the video if you love any of the cases i'm rocking on my samsung iphone or my airpods pro i'm going to leave the links in the description definitely check that out i'll leave more videos to more cases also so definitely check those out if you like this video you learned something new it helped you definitely smash that thumbs up button it helps me a lot if you loved it and want to see more content like this from me please subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye